بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹ اینڈ ہوپ یو آر ڈوئنگ ویل مائی نیم از ڈاکٹر تاج علی خان اسسٹنٹ پروفیسر ان دا ڈپارٹمنٹ آف مائکرو بایولوجی کسٹ آئی ٹیچ امیونالوجی سیکنڈ ٹو بیز فورتھ سیمسٹر مائکرو بایولوجی اسٹوڈنٹ دا کورس کوڈ آف امیونالوجی سیکنڈ از ایم آئی سی ٹو ون ٹو ٹوٹل کریٹ آورس آر فور لیکچر فسٹ دا topic of today lecture is immune system the outline of my today lecture is introduction to the immune system innate and adaptive immunity types of adaptive immunity property of adaptive immune responses cell and tissue of the immune system and once we finish the detail about the immune system uh, then at the end we will give a brief summary of the entire lecture dear student if we look to the slides it illustrating that in daily life we are exposed to external threat in the form of pathogens like viruses nowadays one of the viruses that is called sars coronavirus 2 is pandemic Uh, similarly we are also exposed to different bacteria uh, the prominent example is e coli mycobacterium tuberculosis we are also exposed in daily life to fungi the example is candida albicans the example of parasite is malaria parasite inside our body there is a defense mechanism that is called immune system and the immune system provide us the protection to these uh, infectious microbes so today our lecture is all about the immune system before uh, discussing in detail the immune system it is important to define certain terms uh, immunity immunity is resistant to the disease specifically to the infectious disease while the cell tissue and molecule constitute the immune system that mediate immunity to infectious disease the immune system react in a very coordinated way by virtue of cells and molecule to the infectious microbes immunology is the study of aspects of immune system in terms of structure functional and immunological responses two basic function are performed by the immune system number one is to prevent infection while the second one is to eradicate the established infection once we get infected the importance of the immune system is uh, elicited by the health uh, when we are immune deficiency there are two types of immunodeficiency number one is primary immunodeficiency that is uh, due to the genetic disorder and another one is secondary immunodeficiency or acquired immunodeficiency that is due to the Uh, certain infection or when we are using certain drugs uh, the prime example of secondary immunodeficiency is aid and when we uh, infected by hiv viruses uh, we have immune compromised system and we are susceptible to a broad spectrum of infections in the past there is a lot of infections they are uh, protected uh, by the are controlled by the uh, effective uh, immunization uh, programs like uh, uh, pertussis rubella smallpox etc etc uh, innate immune system or adaptive immune system not only important uh, to protect us against the infection they are also important uh, in the control of the cancer and certain cells which are engineer and they are reintroduced 
inside the cancer patient, uh, they also have some uh, promising results. Sometimes immune system uh, responds abnormally, uh, which could uh, lead to certain uh, disorder or disease like asthma or autoimmunity in which the immune system responds or attack on the own normal tissue or healthy tissue. And the primary example is uh, a rheumatitis arthritis. Uh, all these reasons attracted the uh, clinician, the scientists, or the common public uh, to the field of immunology. And today, teacher, we also uh, clear certain questions which come in our mind that how the immunity work, what are the mechanism through which this immunity uh, work, and how different cells coordinate and finally eliminate the antigens. Immune system consists of innate immunity and adaptive immunity. Innate immunity is the initial response or the first response to the infection. Uh, innate immunity uh, consists of first line of defense and second line of defense. Uh, later on, we which will discuss. But in the first line of defense, the skin and the mucous membrane prevent us from the infection, while in the second line of defense occur when the first line of defense fail and in which different cells are involved, like macrophages, monocyte, neutrophil. And the last one, uh, which is developed slowly, but more specialized and effective immunity that is called adaptive immunity, which is uh, due to the lymphocyte, T lymphocyte and B lymphocyte. Uh, in here, we can uh, see uh, different organs and cell about which we'll talk uh, onward in our lecture. Here, we can see the two arms of the immunity, innate immunity and adaptive immunity. The innate immunity uh, is the ripple response that occur within the minutes or hour. And the mechanism of innate immunity uh, is, is the initial response to the infection. Uh, for instance, uh, one of the mechanism provided by epithelial uh, cells, uh, which prevent the infection, while other mechanisms such as phagocytic cells, dendritic cells, NK cells, and complements uh, eliminate the antigen. Uh, if we uh, come to the right side, uh, adopt immunity. Uh, adopt immunity uh, uh, are mediated by the lymphocyte and their product. For instance, B cell when a counter antigen, they are produced antibodies which uh, block or neutralize the uh, microbes. Similarly, T lymphocytes uh, eliminate the intracellular microbes. Innate immunity uh, have different uh, barrier like anatomic barrier, uh, physiological barrier, uh, chemical uh, phagocytic barrier or inflammatory barrier. All these barriers are important to protect us uh, from the infectious disease. <clears throat> Sorry. Uh, there are two types of the adaptive immunity, humoral immunity and cell mediated immunity. Uh, in humoral immunity, B cell uh, secrete antibody uh, the, the effector function of which block the infection and eliminate the extracellular microbes. While the T lymphocytes uh, augment the phagocytose microbes, uh, macrophages, uh, which help in elimination of phagocytose microbes and also uh, kill infected cell and eliminate reservoir of infections. There are certain properties of adaptive immune responses. The first one 
uh, is specificity, uh, which is the ability of the adaptive immune response to distinguish between the different antigens, while diversity is the response of adaptive immune uh, immunity to variety of antigen. If we look here, uh, there is a primary immune response and secondary immune response uh, to different antigens. The antigen X and Y induce different types of uh, antibody which replicate, which illustrate the specificity. While if you look the secondary immune response to antigen X is more heightened uh, as compared to the uh, primary immune response to antigen X, uh, again indicated the immunological memory because the immunological cells uh, provide the uh, provide the more uh, rapid and heightened immune responses as compared to the primary immune responses. And other one thing is different here from the primary. Uh, immune response to XY antigen, so it's also indicated the diversity. Uh, here we can see that the clonal infections, how the clonal infection occur, actually uh, the lymphocytes uh, that is uh, developed and mature, they are equipped with special receptor when they deployed to the lymphoid organs, when they interact antigen, for instance, in this case, we can see here X antigen and Y antigen, and these antigens uh, induce uh, or selected a clones of a lymphocyte, which are specific to only these uh, antigens. Like for instance, antibody X will only react in the future to the X antigen while Y antibody only to the Y antigen. So they are antigenic, so antigenic specific immune, immune responses may occur in future if the same antigens are uh, encountered by these uh, clone of cells. The cell of the immune system, they are the principal cell of the immune system, uh, like lymphocytes uh, are involved in the specific uh, recognition of the antigens, while the antigen present are responsible for the capture of antigen for displaying this antigen to lymphocyte, or if effector cells are involved in the elimination of the antigen. Uh, these are the classes of lymphocyte. There are the uh, distinct classes of the lymphocyte when they uh, recognize specific antigen and differentiate into the effector cells whose main function is to eliminate the antigen. For example, as I have mentioned, when B cells uh, encounter antigens, it's a secreted antibody. The secreted antibody are involved in different functions such as neutralization of microbes, uh, enhance the phagocytosis, and also involve in activation of the complement about the phagocytosis and complement activation I have already talked about in my previous classes. Uh, helper T cells actually recognize the antigen display by antigen presenting cells uh, who secrete the cytokine which activate a variety of immunity uh, such as activation of macrophages, inflammation, activation uh, of uh, T and B lymphocyte. Cytotoxic cells actually mainly kill the infected cells, while the regulatory cell uh, check the immune responses uh, or to uh, avoid the immu autoimmunity, which is already talk about the autoimmunity, which is the uh, immune cells response to the own healthy tissue, and this is called autoimmunity. Natural care cells are the innate immune cells which kill the virus infected cells. Uh, this is very important that we should note that how the maturation of the lymphocyte occur. Actually, the lymphocytes uh, originated from common lymphoid precursor cells and they are mature in the 
uh, primary lymphoid organ that's bone marrow and thymus when they are mature they are deployed to the peripheral lymphoid organs where they interact to the antigen and recirculated in the blood and lymph nodes uh, there are the organs of the immune system thymus and bone marrow they are called primary organs because we are the lymphocyte are uh, developed and mature whilst when the these lymphocytes are mature they move to the uh, secondary organs uh, we are the uh, antigens uh, are entrapped by these secondary organs and the uh, lymphocyte antigens interaction occurs so let's summarize the important points of today uh, lecturer uh, when we are exposed to the infectious antigen or microbes first resistance or first response uh, provided by the innate immunity then if it is failed then adaptive immune response occur uh, which include capture and display of microbial antigen cell mediated immunity humid mediated immunity and finally once the adaptive immune systems uh, complete their function uh, then the adaptive immune cells or lymphocyte cells come to the normal state that is called homostasis and the the, stimul the antigen stimulated cells are killed by a process that is called apoptosis that i will show you in the next slide and the immunological memory cells also produce uh, for the future uh, repeated exposure of the same antigens there are three distinct phases of adopt immune responses that antigen recognition lymphocyte activation and antigen elimination here we can see as i have discussed earlier that naive t lymphocyte or b lymphocyte when interact to the antigen clonal infection occur and these clone infection differentiated into effector cells and the effector cells are responsible for the elimination of antigens it is important to know that how the adaptive and innate immune cell originated actually from uh, the hematopoietic stem cells in the bone marrow uh, two lineage uh, are originated one is called myelite progenitors while another is called the lymphoid progenitor this uh, lymphoid progenitor are, are responsible for the adaptive immune cells while the myelite progenitor are important for the innate immune cells all these cells are important to fight against the infections this is very important for the innate and adaptive immune response to work in a high coordination if there is a, a impairment in any arm of the immunity innate immunity or adaptive immunity so there will be abnormal immune responses that could lead to immunopathology immunopathological mechanism uh, there are certain references from which i have taken my lecture uh, stuff uh, that is uh, this website and also basic immunology uh, by abbas and qb immunology uh, well, also, if you have any question uh, regarding today's lecture, please don't hesitate, dear student, and contact me on my official email. Thank you so much. Have a nice time.